Greetings! Today, let's take a look at the attribute system coming in alone 0.9, as well as a look at the food and farming rework. The attribute system replaces the morale system of previous versions. Instead of having a single value, there are now four attributes, strength, agility, perception, and inspiration. Each of these attributes goes up and down independently, will give bonuses to different actions. Strength, for instance, is very helpful for fights and for collecting resources. So, how do you raise attributes? One way is through cooking. Some items are ingredients, and each ingredient will increase one of those attributes by a specific amount when they are cooked and eaten. Carrots, for instance, will temporarily increase perception. But to gain this bonus, you can't just eat them raw. You have to cook them using the stew pot included with the cookhouse. Using the stew pot opens this interface. The area on the left shows all the ingredients you have in the inventory. Clicking on the ingredient moves it to the staging area in the top right. You can add up to three different ingredients in this case, and the same ingredient may be added multiple times to increase the total portion size. When we eat the stew, we'll temporarily gain the sum of all the attributes of the ingredients as shown in this box. And now that we're happy with our choices, we just have to cook it. Now, whenever we want, we can take a portion or a double portion, and this will give us a specific boost whilst we work, craft, or explore. And we don't have to cook all the time. We've just eaten a single portion. We can top up the ingredients later, or add new ones, giving us a perpetual stew. Where do the ingredients come from? Well, some of them come from farming. Farming has received a rework in 0.9. The workflow has been changed to be more user-friendly, and there are a number of new crops added too. When you build a farm, you can pick what you want to grow using this interface. Crops which are ingredients are denoted with an icon, and also includes the attribute and how much it will increase by. Crops which have other uses, such as alcohol, have their own icon here as well. When the crop is selected, the character will immediately plow, sow, and now it's just a question of waiting for the crops to grow. After the crops are ripe, you can harvest them, and now you have something to cook with. 